obviously, uh, congratulations goes to uh, Missouri and Coach Odom. Uh, their football team uh, did a nice job executing. Um, you know, obviously, uh, uh, not the showing that uh, we wanted to have. You know, got off to a uh, got off to a slow start, uh, turned the ball over, had miscues in every phase. I gave up too many explosive plays, you know, defensively, and uh, you know, had some had some missed assignments that that really cost us, you know, throughout that game. Um, you know, I, I thought our guys uh, they they battled. You know, there in the in the first half, I thought, or the, the there in the second quarter, I thought we really did a good job of uh, bouncing back. You know, got it to a to one score game, but then uh, you know just too many miscues for us to beat a good football team, and uh, you know especially being here on the road, um, just didn't didn't play uh, didn't play good enough in any phase. Oh, when they're when they're you know executing at a high level, it's it's difficult. You know, you, we had to we had to try to make them uh, you know you know uncomfortable, which we weren't able to do. The quarterback uh, you know, got in a great rhythm, uh, was highly efficient in what he did, hit some big plays, um, but you know we weren't you know we did a good job at times against the run, but then you know we had a couple times we just absolutely you know blew assignments and um, you know let them have explosive plays, which um, you know it, it it makes it tough when you're. You know, especially against a guy that's as talented as him. How concerned are you just about the direction the team's headed in the last four games? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not concerned about the direction of this team. I believe in. I believe in this team. I believe in the in the. Uh, and how we operate. I believe in what we do. Uh, there's absolutely no concern in, in the direction of this football team. You cut it there to, like you mentioned, late in the second, kind of, or midway through 21 17. And it just seemed like that sequence, they had the long touchdown, then the pick, and then scored again. It just got away from you guys. It did. And it, 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 it you know, obviously, it was, it was the two swings. You know, right at the beginning of the game, you know, being down, we're tw down 21-3. We make a run to get back close, and then, like you mentioned, it was a, you know, just a swing of the, the, another momentum swing of plays where you know you just can't you can't do that against you know quality opponents. And um, you know, this Missouri team is talented. They've done they've done a nice job. Uh, you know, I think that. Um, you know, it, they presented some matchup that, matchups that were challenging for us, and um, you know, they they executed at a high level. Yeah, you know they did. They did a nice job trying to move those guys around. Um, you know, obviously we had a couple, like I said, a couple of assignments. Uh, you missed assignments where we, um, you know, lost track of lost track of our guy. And uh, you know that's that's credit to, to what they what they were doing and, and trying to create those matchups. But um, you know, it's, it's unfortunate that uh, that we gave up that many big plays. Uh, you know, he, uh, Daryl, you know, had to get tweaked there early, um, and so I mean, we we tried to get him get him going, but it just wasn't able to make it back. Was that a, was it something that was he had was dealing with coming into the game? Um, just it was something that that uh, really you know irritated him during the game. So. What is it about the road now? I mean, I've lost now three games that looked out of sorts a certain way. What is it about the road that seems to just get you guys flustered this way? Uh, you know, we haven't played very well on uh, you know. In, in some of our road contests, at times we've we've uh, you know we've played well, but uh, not consistently enough. And you got to be consistent. Um, you know the momentum swings are something that's going to happen whenever you you play in a road uh, road contest. But uh, you know our guys, uh, we have not been able to seize the moment at uh, at, at the right times. Um, you know in contests like this, and you know when you have when you have that many mistakes and miscues, uh, you're not beating any good team no matter where you play them. No, he's he, that guy. He's a good football player. That guy's, you know, he did a great job against us. I think he has more catches than the other tight end in the country. I mean, did, on film, like coming in, did you know this guy? Oh, yeah, we knew that. Uh, we knew that he was going to present some challenges. Um, you know, we had to. Uh, had to be able to account for where he was, and not, obviously we didn't do a very good job of that at times here tonight. Um, but there was, it's no, no surprise. I mean, he's a, he's a really good player. He's been a good. He's done a good job all through the season, and uh, you know, he did a great job tonight. How much do you feel like maybe? I think. I mean, I think they've got you know a couple different weapons. I think the quarterback makes them go, and then you know the, obviously having quality guys that uh, uh, they can distribute the football to. Uh, you know, they're big up front, which was a challenge. I mean, we did a nice job at times, but um, you know it was. Uh, they've got a lot of weapons. 
Yeah, we, we have to continue to improve. We got to regroup in, in a sense, um, you know, coming off two tough losses. Um, you know, our football team, you know, we, we, need, to put, we need to put it all into action. Um, you know, at the end of the day, it's what I just what I just told our team is that we go into this bye week. We have to we have to continue to look ourselves in the mirror, all right? Because uh, when you have performances where you come up short because of uh, you know mistakes, because of you know miscommunication, um, you know not all eleven guys you know executing your know, one call. It's, it's tough to beat anybody. Um, but you know we got a bye week to, to, to be able to go to work. Um, you know it's going to be full 100% commitment to this team and to our improvement. Um, and then you know we're taking it one day at a time. And our sole focus will be on our, our next opponent here. In, here coming up in a few weeks. No, we we had it. We we knew what was coming. Had a pretty good sense of it. We were. Uh, um, you know, just they did. Get, quarterback did a great job of. You know, we had it. We had it kind of pinned up, and as he threw it back across his body, receiver made a nice play. But I felt, I felt very confident. Um, you know, in where we were and how we were, how we matched everything off, and then you know, great player made a great play. Uh, it's, it was just. I'm not. I'm not gonna go into the details of it, but uh, you know, he he, had, he tweaked. He had a tweak. Oh, we we definitely need to improve. We have to we have to uh, the, the the fact that uh, we've got some guys that are banged up. Uh, you know, we need to get them healthy. We've got a uh, uh, we've got to continue to to reevaluate uh, you know, every individual um, and making sure we're putting our guys in the best position to be successful. But you know, this football team they they're going to continue to respond. They're going to continue to work and grow. Um, you know, we've got to. Uh, we just got to get 11 guys all all playing the same call on each and every play, and if we'll do that, then I I, I, I know that we'll be successful, and uh, you, these guys will continue to uh, to grow. Okay. Thank you.